I'm here at the store late once again. We got another restock video here for you. To be honest with you, it's not the biggest restock we've ever done, but we do have some really cool things in this restock. It is more, we'll say, hardware rather than software. So I got a lot of consoles prepped. We have a lot of handhelds. There's some pretty cool games, and we also have some really cool magazines. So let's go check it out. Let's go check out what we got on the counters today. So as you can see, there's a ton of systems. Not as many games as usual, but there's still some good stuff here. So right off the bat, we got some cool GameCube games here. Whenever we get this game, it sells usually Saturday morning. So we have an original Xbox here in the box. This is one of the original like first release ones. This one has a Duke in it and it's got like the original box art. A lot of the later release Xboxes will like comes with a game or it has some different artwork. This, this has the original look and I really like that box. Then we got some Switch games. We've had a ton of people asking for 360s lately. We have a few of them in this restock. So if you were asking me earlier in this week for a 360, we will have some on uh, Saturday. And then we have this Uncharted PS4 and it does come with the controller. And then a PS2. Here's another 360. And then we got some good handheld games here. Uh, Black. We haven't had a Pokemon Black in a while. And then some handhelds. So the story with these GBAs over here, this one is modded with, um, I don't know if it's an IPS screen or I don't know like all the details, but this has a really awesome looking screen and so does this one. These two are not modded. The pink one is, you don't see that one very often. And then going this way, this is a PSP 3000. It does come with a new battery and a charger. This Game Boy Color is modded. It has, I don't remember, some really fancy screen. Uh, DS XL. This also has a mod. It's a different screen. This screen looks way better than this one, but they're both really nice. And then you got this Game Boy Advance SP that we have marked down because there is some condition issues. There's some like light scratching. So we dropped the price on that. And then this amazing carrying case. This is a carrying case for GameCube games. So if you got loose GameCube games, that's always a good option. All right, going this way, got some PS5 games, some oddly expensive PS4 games, things that you just kind of wouldn't think, like Brunswick Pro Bowling. I would have never guessed that would have been $40, but it is. Got a Dreamcast, got, I think we have one or two 64s here. We ran out last weekend, so glad to get at least one of them back in stock okay we have an oled switch here i was speaking with somebody to today and i told them that we didn't have any switches coming out uh sorry about that i did find one in the back room so that will be available saturday morning i hope you're watching this video and then we have the steam deck this is i think it's a 256 gigabyte one I, I don't have the price tag. I got to print it out, but it's a good one. And then another 360. Uh, this is the 360 E. I think it's the E. And then that is the S. And then we got a GameCube. I prepped a ton of controllers. Controllers are a lot of work because we really go to town with cleaning them because most of them are very dirty when they come in and we don't sell dirty things here. So we've got some nice clean controllers. A lot of people have been asking for PS4 controllers. People always ask for PS3 controllers. And GameCube, we haven't had a regular GameCube controller in weeks. And then moving this way, we got a nice collection of Nintendo Power magazines. 
so moving forward, well, moving forward, I bought bags for all of our magazines. So those probably won't be here by Saturday. But in the meantime, what we're going to do is if you're looking at our magazines, I am going to start putting the price tags on the inside. I'll probably put them like right here. We put them on a post-it note so it doesn't ruin the, the page. So, because the problem we're running into is like, I have this stack of strategy guides here. So we have the tags on and then we have them on post-it notes. So people look through them and they go like this and then the tag is gone. So we're gonna start putting them, we're gonna put them like right here. That way we don't run into that problem. So the price will be on the inside. All right, back to looking at the magazines. There's some pretty cool vintage ones here, like Mario 3, Mega Man 2. This is a Super Mario 64 one. Mario Kart. I think I had this issue when I was a kid. And then, look at this, the Virtual Boy. That's amazing. Mega Man 3. I like this Wario cover a lot. Super cool. This one is, I don't know why the cover, I think it's like a bonus issue or something like that. I don't know. It's super cool. And that is everything for the restock. And one other thing, if you haven't voted for us, uh, we still have a week yet before voting ends. I will leave the links in the description. And if you could take a second to go vote for us. I think it would be super awesome if we if we won one of these categories or if we won all of them. I'd be super stoked if we got one of them. The one I want the most is the best new retail store. That's super awesome. So I would super appreciate it if you could take a minute out of your day to do that. Helps the store a ton. And like usual, if you see anything you'd like, uh, I'd be here Saturday morning. Thanks.